Well, Mo Betta, Mo Better. I mean, first and foremost, this is the same award-winning classic that maybe you loved at the pool hall, maybe you loved at the bowling alley in Morris, Minnesota like I did, or maybe you just plain and simple loved. Well, when I say we are bringing the arcade home to you, it's really, really true. Today and today only for this show, and then Adam will have your last shot coming up a little bit later today, we have your choice, the famous Pac-Man. Pac, Pac, Pac Attack, 40 years young. I wanna know what skin care he is using. Seriously, speaking of skincare, Chorus is coming up with their last show with the visit with me at uh, eight o'clock tonight. But you can choose it with Pac-Man or Centipede. And what's missing? The big old box at the bottom, that's it. This is the same arcade legal or registered size that you and I enjoyed. So it's that full, bold, bright visual experience that we all loved. But you can actually mount this a couple of different ways. Now, there's another great thing that you need to know. It's the best price, but we're giving you more stuff. Instead of three additional games, you get, it's four. So it's a four in one. So whether we're talking about Pac-Man with your Dib Dub, your Galaga and your Galaxin, or your Centipede with your Missile Command, your Liberator, and your Millipede. We have either one, all with free shipping, $66.66 .66 on your credit card. You can put it over a door, you can mount it on a wall, you could have a tabletop. Guaranteed, not only putting the fun factor back in your life, but if you're like my family, I, I talked to my mom the other day and she was out playing with Lexi, her granddaughter, and I said, well, where's Hunter? Oh, he's downstairs with the video games. Now listen, my mom doesn't know from, you know, Madden sports to this or that, but my mom could do this. It's the regulation joystick, that great little spin ball, all of the controls. So when I say this is putting the fun factor back for a better price with more stuff, today and today only, we pay to send it to you all for less than $67 on your credit card. Uh, so Pac-Man, uh, Pat, you said there are what? Over 5,000 spoken for, winner, winner, chicken dinner. But I gotta tell you, if you like the cult classics like I do, you're probably going to do Centipede. Well, he's no creepy crawly. He's our number one man. Pac-Man or otherwise. Bill Duggan, uh, Bill of course, one of our brand ambassadors and experts here at HSN. First of all, I wanna know where you are. You look like you've got the arcade at home. All thanks to this, right my friend? I'm at home and I'm happy to be at home. Let me tell you, with Arcade One Up being in the house, it's changed everything. It's really made staying at home, having a good time, but also bringing back that nostalgic from the 80s without having to worry about the quarters, without having to worry about machinery that normally would take up half my living room, the party cake. I love that sound. I mean, when's the last time you guys all heard that sound? But really what happened is Arcade 1UP won Toy Tech, uh, to won Toy Tech, won the Tech Toy of 2019. For what? Not reinventing the arcade, but making it compact enough to bring into our homes. However, the one they won the award on, it was bigger. It required an hour of assembly. They brought the party cade exclusively to us here at HSN, and that's really where it's went, it's gone on fire because it is very versatile. You see how I have it hung up over the door. All the brackets, everything you need, include it. You wanna hang it on the wall? The bracket for the wall, it's included. It also could be tabletop. When we did this before, it was one of the most successful today specials of our holiday season last year. It had three games and you had no options. Now you have your choice. Pac-Man or Centipede, both have four games, so we're giving you more games. And the biggest difference is Pac-Man has the classic joystick. And when I mean classic, by the way, all of these games are the original, original license, artwork, sounds, everything. So it's not dumbed down or like Pac-Man-ish or Centipede-like. It's truly the exact same, even the decor around the outside. But then the Centipede one has that roller ball action, which we've just been able to start to bring back. And that's really where this is set everyone really excited, gotten everyone really jazzed because yes, I can move this around, but more importantly, I'm not buying one video game. I'm getting four video games in one, which really keeps the kids' attention and all of our attention because Shannon, I don't know if you know what came first, centipede or millipede, you know? Well, I'll tell you, it yeah. was centipede. And oh, millipede that? is actually a little faster. It's the sequel, it came out about two years later. So it's even a great progression story for kids. And I loved how you were talking about your mom because it's true. 
The video games of today, I, I can't keep up with it. I just saw my nephew and he's like, do you want to watch me play video games? I'm like, that sounds so boring. No, I want to play with you. But I couldn't keep up. This is something I could introduce him to. He'd be excited about it. My sister would be excited because there's volume control where I can turn it up or turn it down. So let's say I'll play some Millipede. And so you can get that amazing, great audio, which is great. Parents love that. But guess what? I can also turn it down, which is awesome. She also would appreciate that it can be packed up and put away or it's easily put up and a small footprint. And my brother-in-law would like it because there's no assembly required at the end of the day. Okay, and so you hear that shooting that's going on? Uh -huh. And do you know what? I want to hear the waka, waka, waka. But uh, I'm okay, going to get on board it. with this in a moment. So two things. No assembly required. No mm -hmm. assembly required, okay? And it does qualify for our extended holiday return policy. In fact, I had my producer, Pat, oh. confirm that. <laughs> See, it makes me a little nervous to even say that. But the one thing know, about today's <laughs> modern games is they come with rating systems and they're very um, isolationist. I mean, the person playing that game is having fun, but it's not like they're crowd pleasers. These are crowd pleasers. Whether you're playing the game or not, everybody gets involved. Everybody becomes their own cheering squad. It is the same award-winning game. It's the same thing. So let me just give you sizing so you can kind of uh, take note at home. Remember, and I know you saw the little videotape um, uh, illustrating this, but you can put it over a door. You can put it on a tabletop, and again, no assembly required, so it's an out-of-the-box experience with no learning curve, or of course, you can mount it on a wall as well. So you're looking at about 18 and a half inches by, by about seven and a half inches, which incidentally, that's, uh, gosh, I've got shoes probably that size. My shoe is probably that wide. I gotta be honest, because I wear a size 10. I got big old boats. And then about 28, almost 29 um, inches in terms of the height. Bill, it's fun when, when uh, back in the day, as they say, before social distancing, you and I would have a comparison where we saw the small tabletop versions for about this price, and then we actually had a full, well, in fact, you know what? Let me show you what you can do. Now, I wanna double check on some of the also availables, Pat, um, if you could help guide me through this. So when we talk about the big screen experience, Bill, this is the big screen arcade fun just in a better platform, right? Correct, and the one right next to you is actually the one they won the tech toy of the year for. But you see, it's bigger. It, it makes, takes a footprint in your living room and in your space, but you know what you're getting? You're getting the exact same screen size in the party cade experience. So smaller footprint, more versatile, but it's really the same in terms of that monitor, the feel, the controls, that audio, you wanted to hear a little bit of that wah wah. Oh, I just died on that level. But the thing is, you're gonna get all of that at home. And there's even a smaller version out there. Smaller screen, only can play it on the countertop. This really gives you a lot of versatility. So up close, you have that great screen, all that same artwork, the volume control, same joystick button. And remember, if you get bored of playing Pac-Man for a little while, you just hold down that player one button, takes you back to the main menu, and you're not getting three games like we did before, you're getting four now. You're getting a Dig Dug. I mean, when's the last time anyone played Dig Dug? I love that they brought that back. Galaga, Galaxy, and all right there. But this is where you go back and you, you're reliving our use. We're sharing with the kids and they're gonna have fun with it because the hours we spent on Dig Dug, the amount of quarters we put in, we are joking about it earlier in the day. I keep saying quarters, are, are they even a quarter anymore? I swear it's like a dollar now if you wanna play a video game. But the thing is, that's where you have fun with this. You get better with it because you're not paying for it every time. You just can keep playing and playing. But notice how it is, the, not the counter cave, this is called the party cave. So, it's seven and a half inches at its deepest. If you add the feet that we give you, it's about 13 inches, but that gives you the stability. You can use it with or without the feet. But what I appreciate too is, you know what? Party's over, company's coming over, clean up the mess in the family room. It easily packs up and can be put away because sometimes we want it out, sometimes we don't want it out. The over the door attachments, all included. Maybe you don't want to commit to where it's going. Maybe you are limited on space. This hook, just like we have for you know our shoe organizers, put it over the door and you can adjust it down for the littler kids in the family too, which is great. Because sometimes, you know, it's for the big kids. Sometimes the little kids come over and they want to play. And that's the cool part about it. They can play this, one, because it's user-friendly. Two, it's not rated for teenagers and adults only. It's really rated for everyone. So you see all the accessories that truly are included in the box. We're not saying pick up the door ha hanger if you want a door hanger, pick up a wall mount if you want a wall mount. 
it's all included. Arcade One Up has really put everything in that box that we get to enjoy it. So you just peel off the protective screen layer and you plug it in. And that's really where you just have fun with it. We even give you great directions if you do want them wall mounted, the bolts and accessory and anchors included, which is great. So you can send this off to someone, they'll have fun with it, or you can set it up in your home and you can easily move it around. Because again, that one next to you, Shannon, it is big. It, I put that one together myself too. It took about an hour. And then this one, what I'm playing with it, I can tuck a stool underneath it. I can still have my hamper if it's in my bedroom. That's how versatile this is. I don't know if we still have the stools available, but the stools are nice. Uh-oh. I was just gonna oh, mention do? them. Okay. Bill, they are almost gone. Hey, we do have the right. scoreboard, which listen, I'm good at a lot oh. of things. Arcade games aren't one of them, but you know what's so funny about <laughs> that, Bill? I aced every class in college except for bowling, but I had a gas doing it. So even if you're not good at this, <laughs> you're gonna have fun. I mean, seriously, it was the only C I got in exactly. college was bowling. <laughs> if that, I mean, if that tells you anything about well, me. Well, now I know. We need to go bowling. We need to go bowling. <laughs> but the whole idea what? is, whether you're good at it or not, you're gonna have fun. Now, speaking of fun, even right. if you're not getting this at home, I, I want this stool. I just think this is a gas and a half. <laughs> no, these right. sold out in the first airing when we offered this with fewer games before. So you can choose, I mean, you gotta get both. We have Centipede and then Pat, is Pac-Man almost gone in the stool? Okay much more limited on the Pac-Man. Then we've got the scoreboard as well. And no mm -hmm. kidding, it is a universal standard. I was a film major in college and they talk about the silent movie era and that's why Charlie Chaplin became a world renowned star because there was no language barrier. There is no language barrier. There is no age barrier. There mm -hmm. is no skill barrier. There's no parental warning, rated M for mature. And when I say we're putting the, the F factor, the fun factor in your life, extended holiday return policy. Do you know, even if it were just the 30 day return policy, I really hope you get this at home. It encourages all ages with not only hand and eye coordination, but when I said it, it is a crowd pleaser. So whether it's mom, whether it's grandmom, whether it is the video obsessed teenager, teen, eight or nine year old, mm -hmm. doesn't matter. You know, the thing about this is Bill, um, when I said earlier, and it was funny, cause I could tell my mom was a little disappointed. You know, Lexi's out in the pool and where's Hunter? He's downstairs with the video games. And, and that is, it's very inclusive. And Hunter always, he always wants us, you know, oh, watch me play video games. But I gotta be honest, for those of us who aren't into those rootin' tootin' shootin' up army, you know, football passing. I mean, the, it's fun for the person playing it, maybe not so fun for the crowd. This is a crowd pleaser. So we all have our own arcade story to share, but no kidding, for best configuration, HSN exclusive, bringing back the classics in an award-winning way with more games, free shipping, no crazy assembly. And you know, here's what I'd love for you to do. If you're new to HSN, you know this game. You know that waka waka waka. Wah 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 wah. Waka waka waka. Wah 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 wah. Waka waka. I can't play the game, but I can make the sound. And you can have the real deal. Now, the other thing about this is, Bill, I mean, what's nice is, and you know I do stink at this. Uh, I, you know, full disclosure, I'm, I'm not a <laughs> video player. But and people are always like, oh, go up, go down. Uh, you know, I've got pretty good hand-eye coordination in my mouth, allegedly, but uh, with everything else, not so, oh wait, I'm gonna get eaten, I'm gonna get eaten, I'm gonna get eaten. But Bill, when I say this is a universal, uh-oh. Oh, do we have the sound down? Oh, darn it, I might, okay, can I turn the volume up? Will I get, I'm, I'm gonna get volume in trouble, right? right there. Okay. See, it's not the same you, without the volume. You're, you're gonna hear that a lot when I'm playing. <laughs> okay, Bill, who's... Oh. Yes! That should be your ringtone. Yeah, do you know what? It should be my ringtone. This should be my screensaver. It's like, oh, I'm getting eaten again. Oh, oh it just See? happened to me too. <laughs> but that's really the fun you can have because we can play together. By the way, each machine has one or two player options. So yes, Shannon, you and I could be playing side by side. Your mom could be playing with the grandkids because it's not intimidating. Those controllers, the left and the rights and the yellows and the blues, simultaneous, 
I don't have time to learn that when I'm visiting them. This is something I can introduce them to, or more importantly, we can play together. It does have the leaderboard, just like you would have in the arcade. And the story's been really cute. Kelly Diedrink got the original one for her son for Christmas. He's five years old. He won't let anyone play with it anymore because he has the high score and he doesn't want anyone to beat his high score. So it's just cute stories like that. I do love the scoreboard. When we had this over the holidays, we had a scoreboard on set as a prop. People wanted to try to buy our props. So all of a sudden we're like, well, let's bring a scoreboard back. So they made these for us. They're magnetic, so you can add magnets to it. But you get a, a dry erase marker, you get the chamois and everything. Really completes the suite because if you do pick up the arcade one up, Partycade, might as well get the scoreboard. And the stool is great because I just want to point out it has two different heights to the stool. So you don't even pick which height, you just pick which stool you want. And then you have the option to put it at two different heights. Nice. So if it's for a smaller kid or a bigger kid, you have some user-friendly options and these are very comfortable. You do, hey Bill, more importantly, of, oh, yeah. oh, I'm sorry, go ahead. By the way though, um, they are both very limited. I just wanted, and I, I won't unplug it, everything, I promise. But I could, now how much does this weigh? Because I could lift this 27 weight. pounds. Okay, 27 pounds. I can promise you the bag that I carry on the set weighs more than 27 pounds. Bill's seen the famous bag and the famous wagon. But you know how more wheels, and yeah. more families <laughs> are doing glamping, camping, RVing? Mm -hmm. Chef Curtis Stone, who you just saw with my darling friend Marlo, he just got back from an RV trip. Do you know, have Man Cave will travel? have arcade will travel. I know this sounds mind blowing. Whether you're social distancing or not, this connects people. Uh, in fact, it's too fun. I wish we could even get Curtis on the phone because I know his little boys would love this. So uh, here, here, oh, come on. We did, oh, we roped Curtis Look into this. So he was cooking and playing Pac-Man. Listen, I knew he was a Michelin starred chef, but I had no idea that he was this multi-talented. I mean, I should have I known, but Bill, case in point, big kids, little kids, men, women, teens, everybody in mm -hmm. between. If you want the Pac-Man, now remember, um, Adam is coming up with the official final airing later tonight in his open house show, which I hope you catch. I mean, we love Adam. His open house show is a lot of fun. But then, if you're like me, I... I'm kind of a fan of the, the cult classics. Not that Centipede isn't well known, it is, but there's something, I don't know, when it comes to the visuals, when it comes to the graphics, um, as the kids would say, it's a little extra. It like levels you up in terms of the playing field. And frankly, with $100 off, this is $100 off here at HSN, you could make the case, you could put both of them on FlexPay, his and hers, create that whole arcade experience. They're just a little over seven inches in, in the width and get them at home. I know that I know that I know, especially with that extended holiday return policy that does apply to this, you get this at home and no kidding, Bill, when we say it's a party in a box, this is crowd pleasing. It's parental control friendly. There's no waiting for the other shoe to drop. There's no learning curve. It's just fun for every age, fun for every family. Put the fun factor back in your life. And Bill, I, you know, I, I kind of started the show by saying this. I mean, yes, it's a classic from the 80s, but boy, oh boy, if there was ever a time in history where Americans and American families in particular are crying out for something to keep the kids entertained, but, but to really make us feel good, this is a feel good experience that just happens to be in a game. And you know what? Nothing lasts for 40 mm -hmm. years un unless it's doing something right. <laughs> That's just it. And we can all relate. We've all been home for a long time. We've gone through all the games that we already have. We've gone through all the puzzles. This is something new. And it is something not just for the boys, not just for the girls or the young and the old. It really is for everybody. And remember, it's the party cave, so it's more versatile. Maybe this is set up like this in the family room or the man cave or, you know, the kid's room. But then everyone's sleeping over in a different room. You can easily just pop this up off the wall. You get that mounting bracket. But as you said, it's easy to move. It's about 27 pounds. You just have to have that power cord to plug it in. And then... You could be bringing it to the kitchen if you're doing all that holiday cooking or preparing for the barbecue like Curtis did because you're not limited because some arcade machines are huge. You try to get an original one, they're about $3,000. If you try to get the one arcade one up, won the award for, it's a few hundred dollars more than this one, but it is bigger. And so this is really just a great, um, Alice Caron got one for her daughter last Christmas. She brought it to the dorm room. 
In terms of the stories we had on set, by the way, since we're up close on the centipede, I want you to notice the artwork is all fully licensed. All the games are included. Just hold down that player one button. You can see what's going on. Remember the big difference, it has that roller ball, that track ball. So you can easily just jump around and play all the different games. Because remember, this comes with Centipede, Millipede, Liberator, and Mission Control. And so you're not bored because it does progress with you. And you don't have to go out and buy all these games. They're all preloaded right over here. And you do have the exact same sound and quality. That's why the Partycade was so successful. Because, you know, we have it in the living room. We can bring it upstairs. We can also pack it up and put it away. Because there's not a lot of missing parts or parts you're going to lose. It's just a matter of getting it home and playing with it. And we've made it even better than the last holiday season. And what are you going to do between now and Christmas? You might as well get something home like this, start playing with it, and enjoy it. So when we had it over the holidays, it was so much fun to hear everyone's stories. Where it was Martino, who we all love Martino, who I don't get to interact with much. But he came on set and was playing Galaga with us because he had he grew up playing Galaga. Then we had Chelsea Scott come on set, one of our favorite beauty spies. She was telling us how she used to be on the Pac-Man circuit. We, it was a social activity. We're sharing stories about this and that and who and when versus we normally might not interact. And that even happens within our household, let alone a business, a dorm room or wherever. You can have tons of fun with this. You can. Okay. So if you are channel surfing, again, welcome into the world of HSN. I'm Shannon. I'm with my friend Bill. It's the man cave coming home to you. It's the arcade coming home to you. But more importantly, we're putting the fun factor back in. And we're doing it in that authentic, licensed way, really with the same screen size. I'll just show you real quickly, uh, Dustin, and then I'll, I'll show everybody the choices again. It's it, the real estate of what you want is the visual because that's what you want. You want the visual, the full size arcade. What most of us don't want is that big kind of clunky platform that you really do have to dedicate a room for. Well, screen size, you get the real estate that you want, but you don't have the bulk. So we're taking the weight off. We're taking $100 off your price. That is for this show and then only as long as supplies last. You choose it in Centipede or in, do I need to even introduce him, uh, Pac-Man. <laughs> Instead of three games, it's four. It's $100 off for this show. Hey, um, Pat, I just want to double check because I know Adam's going to have the official final airing. Is Pac-Man going to make a full airing coming up in open house? Okay, at this point, it's kind of iffy. Now, I'll leave that open to your interpretation. But, 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 if you have your heart set on Pac-Man, I would just really encourage you to do it now because it's really... Um, it, it, we're, I'm, I'm sure Adam will probably have like an, an abbreviated peek at, at Pac-Man, but I would not, I really would not worry. If you want Pac-Man in particular, do it. Now remember, it's not three games, it's four. So it's your Pac-Man, it's your Dib Dub, it's your Galaga, it's your Galaxian, and then our Centipede. If you love the cult classics like I do, not even that it's a cult classic necessarily, but it's got that nice little... <laughs> Look at me, I'm already talking makeup. The roller ball. <laughs> like, the, like the roller ball for makeup. But then you also get your missile command, your liberator, and then your millipede, a hundred dollars off. Extended holiday return a little over $60 on your credit card. Really no assembly. It's a little over seven inches, seven and a half inches in terms of the width, about 28 and three quarters in terms of the height, and then about 18 inches in terms of the length. You heard Chef, or you saw Chef Curtis Stone playing this, and I'm telling you, it's a crowd pleaser. No M for mature, no rootin' tootin' shootin' up, no parental control. And Bill, it's funny because even before we see you, you hear these sounds, and when I said <laughs> they, they put the fun factor back in, they put a smile on your face, there's something to be said about not only encouraging hand-eye uh, coordination, but you know the kids want to play video games. Why not get a video game that the entire family can feel good about for a feel-good price? Exactly. And that's this and so much more. And that's where you will have fun playing together because it is a social activity. It's not just, you know playing by yourself but you can have that option as well which is great because you will get better like i've forgotten about dig dug and then you reminded me that it was in it and i was like oh i want to play that one show wouldn't it because i have not played this in years and i have to admit i forgot how what, how what the purpose was but then it comes back to you then you're like oh right i'm supposed to shoot these guys they can float because i'm not wasting quarters every time i'm trying to experiment learning how to play this game i'm getting better and better 
I'm going to get that high score. I'm going to be able to keep track of it, whether it's on the machine. Because remember, it'll keep that leaderboard for all four games. Or you can get the scoreboard if you'd like as well. Okay, well, can I have another quarter? Oh, we don't need to worry about that. <laughs> Hold down that player one button. Takes me back to the entire screen where I can pick another game if I'd like to. It is just, it's colorful. It's fun. We have been inside for so long. Bring some life back into the house. Bring some fun back into the house. And realize it's not just Pac-Man. You are getting four games instead of that three. And same with the Centipede. We didn't just bring Centipede or just Millipede. It's Mission Control and it's also Liberator. And you have that rollerball activity. And I do appreciate when Arcade 1UP did this for us, they didn't go out and copy and make it like Centipede and like Batman or Pac-Man. It is legitimate the, what we had in the 80s. And by the way, do you know Pac-Man is 40 years old? We're celebrating birthday month, but this is the anniversary of Pac-Man. And you said it perfectly, Shannon. If it wasn't a successful game, if it wasn't for everybody, it would not have lasted this long. But these games, all of them, are classics. Not to mention, did you know Pac-Man was originally developed to actually get women into arcade games? Because it was always just, you know, space and all that kind of stuff. So actually, that's what the developers of Pac-Man, that was part of their intention. And I, I think it worked. Because everyone's been enjoying it for years to come. It's Arcade 1UP, putting it in this unique party cave footprint that has really made it obtainable for a lot of us. Because, yes, there are smaller ones called Counter Cave. There are bigger ones, but you know what? It's going to be housed right here. What was this door to the garage before or the laundry room? Now it could be my arcade center or wall mounted in the kids' room. Or you know what? Just Ooh, put ah. it on the tabletop when you want to play. Oh, see? And have fun with Aunt Shannon over there getting all crazy like that. I love it. Uh, what's your score? I'm going to try to beat your score. Okay. Oh, uh, okay. Well, listen, that won't be... Game on. <laughs> Well, you... That's just it. I picked a good person to go up against. <laughs> oh, right? You can do it, Shannon. Curses foiled again. Ah! Okay. <laughs> but that's my whole point. Anybody can do this. Now, when I say no learning curve, honey, if somebody who's getting a C in bowling is able to do this out of the box, uh, and... Oh, 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 oh! Ah! 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 It really... Uh, all right. Are they I bringing down your mic? What are you saying? <laughs> okay, I want to do that. Yeah, really, it feels like be cautious. Your microphone is still for real. On. <laughs> he knows. But that's half the fun. To see grandma get frustrated, or your aunts and uncles, or your niece and nephews, because you do get into it. I mean, half the hosts I've been playing with today, we all go silent because we're so in the zone and focused, and we're like, all oh, right, I have a job to do. And that's where, again, the kids are going to have fun with it. You can have fun with them. Remember, it, it, both of them are all one or two player options, just like you would in the arcade. But you're enjoying it at your leisure. You're enjoying it in any room of the house, not just a designated room. And you even can bring up that audio when you really want to complete that experience. And there you go, trying to get those little flying aliens before they get you, roll up. And that's just where, oh, and that's where the memories Game start to come back. Because, like, over. I remember that. Okay, here's the Wah. thing. So, <laughs> if you are channel surfing, it's the real deal. You're going, oh, well, they did something that looks like Pac-Man, it's Pac-Man. They did something that looks like Centipede, it's Centipede. Now, here's the thing, and I'm trying to remain calm. Oh. I know Adam is coming up with his open house show. You can choose Pac-Man or Centipede instead of three games, it's four. It is an out of the box experience. It is $100 off on the Pac-Man with extended holiday return policy. That's until the end of January. Pac-Man comes with Dib Dub, Galaga, and Galaxon. And then Centipede comes with Missile Command, Liberator, and uh, Millipede. It's the real arcade experience. Just a little over seven and a half inches in terms of the width, and then about 28, almost, tw you know, less, like 29, a little less than 29 inches in the height, and then 18 and a half inches in the length but it's the real deal. Um, ask about the stools. They have been very popular today, but this is it for the year. They did it better. They did a bigger price adjustment. They're giving you more great games. I really hope you get it at home. You know, listen, if, if someone like me, because I'm, I'm not, even when Pac-Man first came into popularity, I, I've never been an arcade or a big video person. I love this. And uh, trust me when I tell you, Everyone watching this show, whether you think you're an arcade person, whether you think you're a Pac-Man or a Pac-Woman fan or not, get this at home. We're gonna put the fun factor back in your summer. This is a forever arcade 
out of the box. I almost double dog dare you to not have fun with it. But the whole problem is if you want Pac-Man in particular, Pat, at this point, I don't know, do they have a back order or wait list? I'm kind of, okay. There, there, uh, there might be a small, um, a small number that they can secure for uh, an even extended delivery date. But I guess I'll put it to you this way. I wouldn't wait, especially if you want Pac-Man. And you know, Bill, it's, it's hard to make a bad decision here, but. Oh. But <laughs> I hear that and it just makes me happy. <laughs> right? I'm serious. You were sharing some cute stories. When we did have this over the holidays, we also had a model who was on set with us. She had brought her four or five-year-old daughter in. They were playing together. They were laughing. The five-year-old was beating the mom in the high score because it is that kind of intuitive, fun, and just hand-eye coordination. But they were playing together. How often do we also, you know, put the kids in front of the TV because we got other stuff to do? Or how often are they gaming on the TV and I can't even watch television? This is something that, you know, doesn't occupy the TV. Or there are other games out there that require Wi-Fi, that require in-purchases to get to the next level and all that. Once you get this done at home, you're done and good to go. And they're not playing online with strangers either. They're playing online with family. They're playing on with people in the household. And so that's where you know what's going on and you get to share all these stories. It's just a fun one to get home for now, especially in this time when, you know, we've been home for a little while. Maybe this is going to be the entertainment for the rest of the summer. And you know what? It's not going to fade. It's going to be entertainment for years to come. It is. And Bill, you make an excellent point. In fact, uh, one of my friends, her little boy just turned 13 and uh, I'm Auntie Shannon to everybody. And he's like, oh, well, I really want, he wanted like money to buy like skins or something, you know, like their little, you know, avatar people. I'm thinking, that's a little complex. Uh, it, so right. this, no Wi-Fi, no tokens, no parental mm -hmm. controls, no worrying about who are they playing with on the other end, N no worries. But fun factor exponentially. It's the real deal. We have the final quantities on either choice, but remember in particular, if you want the Pac-Man, I'm gonna tell you, do it now. Um, remember, uh, Adam will have that final last look coming up during his open house show. That's always a lot of fun to watch, but um, even if they do have a small or a marginal number that they can do as an uh, even um, future delivery date, just make sure that you get it because I actually, Bill, you know the story. I actually missed out on this last year and it was more money. It didn't have as many games, but I st it's so funny because every time I see you, I think, gosh, I should have got that Pac-Man. We know I've got a lot of purchases of regrets, whether it's shoes or handbags. This is not, especially at this price, this is not one of those purchases where you go, why did I do that? And Bill, when I say putting that fun factor in, out of the box, this is nothing but sheer enjoyment and everything to love. And it is the authentic arcade experience. Can you describe that again? Yeah. Because I think if pe people are channel surfing, my first inclination would be go, oh, well, that's a Pac-Man like or a centipede right. like. It's the real that deal, thing. correct? So the game themselves fully licensed, the audio, the visuals, all of it, the exact same you'd find in the arcade. But then it's also the exact same screen size you would find in the arcade, the exact same controllers you would find in terms of the rollerball or in terms of the joystick. Arcade One Up just made it a smaller, more compact footprint. But even that one they won the Tech Toy of 2019 award for was for the bigger at home model. This Partycade being exclusive to us allows us so much versatility. Yes, you can hang it up over the door if you'd like. You can even lower it down closer because this is an adjustable bracket, which are included. The wall mounting situation can do that. Pick the height for the younger kids, the older kids, all that's included. And then yes, it can even be a tabletop arcade system because we give you the feet included in the box. And by the way, this weighs about 27 pounds. The box is about this big. It ships you for free today because it is a today special. That's not always the case as well. And I know you had some anxiety, Shannon, because you didn't get it last time. But remember, it sold out early. So even if you're thinking for the holidays, you know what, you're gonna have something that it's gonna wow everyone in the family and you can keep it stored away till then or you can take it out early and start playing with it and having fun with all these games because that's just it. We've talked ourselves out of a lot of gaming because you know, it's complicated. I wasn't good with bowling or hand-eye coordination, but something like this, it's fun for a lot of people and fun for young, old guys and girls. 
I think I'm going to jump over to Millipede now because I, I've mastered Centipede. I'm going to up my game a little bit. Do Why you know not? What? And the I, thing is, I found out I'm better at Millipede. I mean, who knew? I mean, you probably can keep up with it. It's faster. It, Exactly. <laughs> See, that's my problem. Exactly. Hey, I'm doing it. I've got my phone. I'm not going to have that buyer's remorse because I missed out last year. And I'm always trying to one up myself. I'm always trying to be, you know, make brownie points. It, there's always some last year. I got the kids trampolines. You know, the year before that it was a pool. Oh. But that, by the way, in Minnesota, that's seasonal. I mean, maybe two or three months mm -hmm. at best. This knows no season. So Auntie Shannon pool, pool goes in, you know, the garage. Uh, you know, the, Auntie Shannon's big old trampoline, she got him, goes in the shop. This could even go on the road. So that arcade is open for business. No quarters required. No parental controls. No Wi-Fi. No parental don'ts. This is a big do with more games, the biggest price cut, HSN exclusive. If you want the Pac-Man in particular, I would really recommend that you do that now. I'm gonna get my Pac-Man now, and with that free shipping, I'm, I'm delivering it to the farm. So, Billy, uh, we will see you a little bit later, right? Yes, you will. And I love how you said it's not seasonal. I mean, they'll be taking this off the college with them. That's just, it goes everywhere. It, it really does. Well, like I said, I'm impressed mm -hmm. with the arcade that you have. And, you know, that's a that's a real, tell you what. Come over and play. I, I should. <laughs> Bill, thank you, as always. Good to see you, Good my see friend. You. All right. Take care. Hey, don't hang up. Remember, you just choose.